four, five. Alright, hello to everybody. I'm back. Drinker's here. And I'm doing another Tomb Raider stream. I kind of finished up fairly quickly yesterday, but I want to get into the next area. For anyone who joined me for yesterday's stream, we did the cistern and the tomb of Tihokan. The cistern took about 20 hours because, by God, that's a big level. We need to get this door open as well. Alright, got to be something down here. Let's go. Oh my god, I've got a person watching! How is everyone today? Hi everyone! Hi JP! Hi Scarrow85! Hi Sneak! How the hell are you guys? I'm back! And I'm doing a Tomb Raider stream! Because I've gotten rather addicted to these. It's good fun! And I want to see if I can complete this game. Alright. This is not on Steam, Ratboy. This is on PS5. But I'm pretty sure you get it on all platforms, so, you know, have at it and all that. Oh yeah, that was the way I came in, so... I need to start doing stuff in here. We want to get inside the tomb. This is not the old school version from someone who was asking, this is the remastered version. But if you press this button, you can get the old school version. See? Wow. And it's it's quite the experience. <laughs> Roberto Sveno, I want to get stoned and watch Lara go through a cave. I mean, really, who doesn't, you know? Uh... Okay, did that, so let's go down here. Because there was a switch there that I pulled earlier, and now I just need to figure out where I'm going from here. So, let's go. Someone's asking, is this better than the movies? <laughs> Daddy Cool saying, that is it a Willy Wonka experience, though. I mean, truly, nothing quite is, is it? All oh, right, I'm back here again. Is there something I'm missing? Something in here that I need to get? Pretty sure I pulled that lever already, so... <laughs> Ryan Smith saying, I'm having a shit while watching this. I wish my shit would never end. I mean, you know, you don't have to just watch this while you're taking a dump, man. You can, you can do it anywhere. Don't take a shit anywhere, though. That's, that's a really bad idea. And this is... A man who's speaking from experience here. Uh, let's see if there's anything else down here. Yeah. You think old school looks better? Really? I mean, oh man. This can this can look pretty rough sometimes. What have we got here? Oh, a secret bit. Oh. Up. Let's go up. Okay, I'm presuming there's something in here that I can use. Yes, another switch. <laughs> Bohaka says, how can anyone play these games without a mouse? Like, I don't know, man. I don't know how anyone could play these games with a mouse and keyboard. Like, that just seems so unintuitive for a filthy casual like me who's been playing on games consoles his whole life. Yeah, I would always, for something like this, I would always take a controller over a mouse and keyboard. Whoa, alright. That's a centaur, which is just, you know, it's what you expect to see. Mm hmm. That guy's gonna be a challenge. <laughs> That's awesome. 
I'm gonna fuck you up, sir. <laughs> yeah, this, the enemies in this game are something else, man. They really are. Are you gonna come to life also? Or are you gonna chill? Alright, let's go in, Lara. What we got in here? Take a quick look around. Ooh, okay. Let's take a look along this section. A little late for the price giving, no? <laughs> a little late, no? I am a Frenchman, no? And you're dead. I'll have that, thank you, sir. Alright, we got a bunch of stuff there. That was a relatively easy kill. Anything up there that I want to look at? Yeah, let's take a look around. This is a nice room. Joshua Henderson. Drinker, I didn't know you were a Tomb Raider fan. I mean, come on, man. I grew up in the 90s, and I had a PlayStation. And I'm a man. <laughs> of course I'm going to like Tomb Raider. I mean, just look at this. That's a, that's a lady you'd like to go on an adventure with. Anything else here? Ooh, okay. It's nice that, you know, this place has been unguarded for thousands of years. It's been abandoned for thousands of years, but they've still got plants that look in perfect condition. And it's good to see that someone's around to water them, because it's important stuff to take care of. <laughs> Jay Hill says, would you do an Elden Ring playthrough? Absolutely not. <laughs> because you would just be watching me get killed over and over and over. Elden Ring has got to be the worst possible game to stream. Unless you're some kind of god at playing it, which I am definitely not. Yeah, about this long, says, that's what we want, Drinker. You just want to see me die over and over again, and then rage quit. I'm not playing it, okay? I hate this game. Hmm. I guess that's where the Skion was. But he never got to this bit here, so let's see what we got. TJ Steven, hello. Hello to you. Hoken, one of the two just rulers of Atlantis. Who, even after the curse of the continent, had tried to keep rule here in these barren other lands. He died without child, and his knowledge has no heritage. Look over us kindly to Hoken. There he is. That's his tomb, I guess. All right. We made it to the end of Tehokin's level, so that's a good start. Uh, Vladimir Taylor says, Drinker, a great movie trailer that you made. Love the part where Ryan said, it's drinking time, and proceeded to critically drink all over the place. I mean, that was a highlight for me, too. And I fought hard to get that scene in. I uh, can't wait to see the movie. Do you still have a cameo? Well, yeah, I'll just tell you. Yes, I've got a tiny little cameo. But it's weird the number of people that seem to think there was a guy in the trailer that was me, and it's, like, a totally different dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a guy named Stephen Boyle who's like way bigger and more muscular than me. Um, but yeah, I've got a little tiny cameo in the movie, but just for like a second or two, because, you know, I am absolutely not an actor. Rich says, when's it coming out? Hopefully in a month. Should be about a month or so. Uh, we're looking at probably early to mid-April. Yeah, at the BC says white folks all look the same. I mean, yeah, what can I say, man? <laughs> it's our curse. <laughs> man, when I was a kid, I was blown away by this cutscene. Like, I can't believe how much effort they put into this. It's like I'm in a movie. 
Yeah, we get cat breath media saying, drinker running through the frame like Hitchcock. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's a very quick little appearance, but, you know, should be fun. Anyway, now we're in a different place. Uh, there was nothing really linking where we are now, but I'm assuming that we're in Egypt. Let's just go with that. Yeah, this is a nice little change of pace, isn't it? Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Kyle says, my brother and I got the demo for this game in a cereal box. <laughs> that is epic. Grizzly Bear says, I hope you've been practicing that Oscar acceptance speech. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to thank Chris Stockman who inspired me to be a better man. <laughs> oh, okay. What do we do with this? Push it? Pull it? Opinions, gentlemen. Let's push. <laughs> Mirza H says, What other 90s titles did you enjoy, Drinker? I enjoyed all of the Resident Evil games. I enjoyed Final Fantasy VII, Metal Gear Solid. Uh, what else? Um, Silent Hill. Uh, Parasite Eve. I had a real thing for that for a while. So I thought that was a great fun game. Yeah, someone's mentioning that they recently played Anniversary and it was kind of a buggy mess. Yeah, all oh, right, I see this. So I've got to use this to drag the other block over so that I can climb up. Makes sense. Yeah, I, uh, someone mentioned anniversary there being a bit of a buggy mess. Uh, yeah, I'm inclined to agree. Like, I definitely appreciated the work that they put in on it, but, um, yeah, for me, I, I guess I prefer this kind of remaster over the anniversary edition. Uh, I don't know, it just seemed to play better. Oh, that's interesting. So there's a bit that I could crawl along there. Hmm. Not sure why. <laughs> Dirt Monkey says, Hi, are you playing tank controls? Obviously! There's no other way to play this game as far as I'm concerned. Daniel Root says, Hey Drinker, what movie do you watch anytime you're feeling down or having a bad day? Uh, what would be a good one? Probably one of the old classics like uh, Die Hard or Aliens uh, or yeah, Big Trouble in Little China. Obviously, everyone knows that's my favourite. Uh, so yeah, it's like movies are sometimes like comfort food, aren't they? You know, some people eat fucking um, mac and cheese or some shit like that. Uh, sometimes it's nice to just watch a good movie. Can we get up there? Yeah, I can get up there. Up you go, Lara. This is the Sphinx level. Yeah, Neil Vingler says, Big Trouble's my favourite. A man of taste and distinction. I like it. Look at that. Oh, it's a random mummy just mooching around. <sighs> There's always something nice about both cheesing enemies from long range where they totally can't get to you. I mean, it's unfair, but you know. Oh, get up there, Lara. Come on, you're better than that. Okay, down we go. Let's explore this new area. Well, doesn't that look nice? Alright, I presume I'll have to get this out of here. And there'll be a switch behind it. As the dude says, hello everybody and drink man. Thank you, hello to you sir. Hmm, a key and 
I assume that's a door rather than a block. Yeah, it's a door. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Cat Breath Media. Lara really likes those medipacks. She does. I love how you can just, you know, you can have all kinds of gunshot wounds, broken bones and stuff. You just put a med pack on you and everything's fine. What is this? Craziness. No, I'm pretty sure yeah. that's not going to work. Ah, uh, okay. We need to gather some stuff here. Nope, can't get in there. Yeah, someone's mentioning that the level design allows for actual exploration. I know, it's crazy, right? This was a thing that we used to enjoy. And the thing is, like, it's just nice because... You know, it's a relatively sparse environment, obviously. You know, there's not uh, there's not a huge amount of like incidental detail, but there doesn't need to be. And so whenever you reach new areas, it feels like such a significant thing. It feels like a real accomplishment, and you're just excited to look around and see what else you're going to find. Can I get out of there? Yes, okay. Let's see what we got over this side. May have to climb up onto this th this bad boy. Up you go. Climb. <laughs> I remember in the original, the game would like pan out and let you see like the whole level. It's, it seems quite different though here. I don't know. I, I remember there was no dividing wall there, unless I'm going truly crazy. It used to just be one big continuous area. Okay. Dirt Monkey says it's a shame that the Tomb Raider films were so lame. It really is. I mean, I kind of liked the first Ang Angelina Jolie one. You know, it was pretty campy fun, but it knew what it was. It's. Uh, it reminds me of the the Charlie's Angels films in some ways. Like they knew exactly what they were, and they were just willing to have a bit of fun with it. And I think that was fine. No way through here. No. Okay. Okay, think, drinker, think. Think, McFly. Anything over this way? Been down here already. I'm going to switch modes just in case there's that same problem that we had in the cistern where there's keys, but you can't see them because the, the model for them is so ridiculously small. Alright, I remember this. You need like an onk, whatever the hell that is. Wait, just in case I'm missing something. Is there anything there? No. Uh, Dora Monkey says, who would you cast as Lara Croft in a reboot? I mean, my go-to had been Hayley Atwell, because, let's be honest, lads, she's got the physique for it, but possibly a bit too old now, because she is like 41, 42, so it's a shame, you know, if it, we'd had the opportunity maybe 10 years ago, it would have been awesome to cast her. Maybe there's a way up here. Okay, maybe if I go over to this side and then go down that slidey bit, perhaps. I don't know, I'm sort of guessing here, lads. Oh, okay. Helps to explore a little bit, I guess. Ah, Bane of Existence's collab with Josh Strife when? Uh, I his breakdowns of games are just incredible. I would love to collab with him, but I feel like he would put my knowledge to shame because that's not exactly difficult. 
Um, but yeah, I do like his content. If you're anyone out there is really interested in like understanding um, the the nitty gritty of how games are put together and what makes them tick, what makes them good and bad, uh, Josh Strife plays is is a really good channel. Oh damn! <laughs> Someone suggested Kira Knightley as Lara. I mean, that's a bold choice. It's, uh, she's not exactly top heavy, shall we say? She's missing some of Lara's assets. She is posh, though. Don says, yo, what's up, man? I'm a big fan. Thank you, sir. I'm a big fan of you, as it happens. Well, let's just go ahead and save there. Just in case something should go horribly wrong. Which it often does. Interesting. And I see something up there. <laughs> Dark Monkey says, I'm thinking Gina Carano. She's free. Yeah, but she's not British and she's not posh, so I just don't feel like she'd be right for that role. Someone saying that Kira Knightley could wear a padded bra like Jolie did. Yeah, but Jolie's definitely got... She's got stuff going on up there. Kira Knightley's just flat as a pancake, man. Tragic. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Shit, it killed me! Damn, that was, like, instant! Alright, let's go back. Senor Brightside says, Drinker, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, when? Well, I could do it any time, really. I've just been... Yeah, I've been playing this first because I really got into it. And I was going on a trip down memory lane and I wanted to see if I could try and complete it before I did Rebirth. Which I know, it's a shame. I do really want to play Rebirth because I've got it. It's all ready to go. Someone's pointing out um, Kira Knightley's bust had to be photoshopped to be bigger on the, the poster that, of a movie she was in. I think that was King Arthur, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> she was quite surprised by that uh, when she saw it. It's like, I don't remember having tits. Oh, kill that thing. Why won't you die? Okay, right, the door's shut, so clearly there has to be a switch or something here that I can push. Let's try up here. Uh, okay, a passageway. Good enough. Acts asked me if I've played Metal Gear Solid. Yes, I have. Played all the Metal Gear Solid games as it happens. Still think snake snake eater is the best. <sighs> Snow Queen Elsa says Tom Cruise as Lara Croft. Hey, I'm up for it. Oh no, I just couldn't possibly fit through a gap like that. What the fuck? <laughs> I love this. I mean, could you just crawl through maybe? No? Too much to ask. Is there a way up there? Nah. A railing. And if there's one thing seasoned adventurers like Lara cannot stand, it's railings. Now, I don't know about you, but there's nothing more common than an alligator in the middle of the desert. It just makes sense. Think we can get there? Nah, it's too far. Let's see what we got. That cat looks like it's going to come alive, and I don't trust it. Mostly because I just hate cats, generally. Make my day, punk. It's 
hard to believe that was a secret. I mean, it's literally just a slightly out of the way room. Danny Cool says, Posh, there can be only one person for this job, Phoebe Waller-Bridge. <laughs> well, she's actually working on the, the Tomb Raider TV show, isn't she? Uh, God help us, so I'm sure it will be full of lots of really funny jokes. Can't wait. Okay. Guess we'll take a look in here. <laughs> ah, someone suggested Alexandra Daddario. Yes, if you can get her to do the accent correctly, I'm all in. Look at this lovely place. Got to say, this is a very chill level so far. I don't feel like a huge amount of stuff's gone wrong. Isn't that where I came in? So there should be a key over there, right? No? Missing that. Okay. Where do we want to go? There's a few different blocks we can push and pull and stuff. Let's uh, try that one there. <laughs> yes, Senji Orange says the game definitely needed the warning. This is horrifying stuff. I know, right? <laughs> Look at us like walking around a tomb. See what we got up here. Yeah, the Alan Raptor says Scarlet Johansson would have been perfect if she hadn't spent her thirties playing Black Widow. I mean, to be fair, it was pretty profitable for her. What is this? Yeah, it's just a, a little incidental detail. Fine. Must be something in here, though. Okay, surely there'll be a key up there or whatever. <laughs> hmm. Well, that was a very loud noise. Presumably something interesting happened. Could be too high for her. Can she jump that? Not quite. Right, I can't drag that all the way over here. If I bring it to here, maybe? Will that be enough for me to jump up? Possibly. There's only one way to find out. <laughs> Dustin Echoes says Karen Gillan. That's a possibility. I mean, she's kind of tall and statuesque and fit. She might be able to. 
the only problem is she suffers from the crippling disability of being Scottish and ginger, and that's possibly incurable. Yeah, Ultimate Hybrid says she's 5'10". She is. She's a big, big lass. <laughs> Must admit, I really liked her as Nebula. Shame they made her so fucking irritating in the third movie. But hey-ho. Alright, let's see if we can make this before I do. I don't really understand what that thing is that's, like, come down from the roof. <laughs> Unless there's a switch here that opens that door there, and it just allows me to get through. Oh, hi. Yeah, he's messing me up pretty badly. Okay, hmm. Right, so there's two items we need here. One is this. Oh no, that's just a door. Is that a door? Yeah, it's just a door. Fine. <coughs> ah, okay. That makes a bit more sense. Huh. Right. Push this bad boy along, and then jump up. Don says, have you ever tried stand-up comedy? No, because I would absolutely die on my arse. And I don't think I would ever emotionally recover from it. <laughs> Right. Another interesting room. Ooh. Something happened. Anything up there? Anything nice? No. Is this actually anything that I need to do, or is it just a piece of scenery? Just a piece of scenery. Alright, so our cat statue's down there. We want to get down to it and then jump. It's quite high though. <laughs> Presumably we can jump over here. Ooh. More stuff. This game is just throwing pickups at me. Alright, so I can slide down there. Let's just make sure that's what I want to do. Yes, it is. There we go. Do I hear a crocodile? Wait, is that more ammo? Yeah. No, I don't know where it is. <laughs> Why, Jesus, crocodiles growl? Apparently they do in Tomb Raider world. Ah, oh, there it is. Let's see if we can shoot it from up here. Come on, Lara. Target him. Good. What 
what's down there. Definitely looks like we're in a room. It's with all this. Why are they giving me so much ammo? It's like they're trying to prepare me for a boss fight. <laughs> yeah, that was not as high as I thought. It's these panthers that are the nightmare. Right. Right, back to the main area, I guess. Is there a way through here? That's the way I came in, so... Another random cat. I wonder if I can jump that. That looks probably too far. Nah, I can't jump that. These panthers just don't give up. Hmm. I actually had to change it, change the graphics mode there because we were just descending into darkness. Someone's asking, Drinker, what movie required you to be the most shit-faced to watch? I mean, pff, take your pick. Uh, Birds of Prey was a tough one. So was Madam Web. But at least I got some amusement out of that. Alright, anything else here? Ooh, a little bridge. <laughs> Damn. There is a lot of wildlife around here. I'm pretty sure they bumped up the enemy count on this game though. I don't remember there being that many. I mean, look at it down there. This is like D-Day. It's like Omaha Beach for Panthers. Look at it. I'm just piling up these corpses. I'm starting to feel guilty about it. Jesus. Do you like the fact that Lara's just running through a featureless void of nothing? They are. Take a look at her for a moment while I answer a couple of super chats. So, Eric Johnson says, What are your thoughts on Max, Mad Max Fury Road and its upcoming prequel with Anya? So, I was fine with Fury Road. I thought it was a pretty amazing action movie. Um, the fact that a lot of it was done with practical effects was fantastic. And... Um, yeah, I'm not sure about the prequel. I don't feel like Furiosa is that interesting of a character that I really want a prequel all about her. But I do like Anya Taylor-Joy, so... Uh, Don's sent us a $10 super chat, but he's redacted the message. So, sorry, man. <sighs> sorry. <laughs> Joshua says... Uh, You'd appreciate it if I zoomed in on her. So, okay, hold on. I'll give you a moment. I'll give you a moment with her. Uh, see if I can back her into a corner here. Can I manipulate the camera a little bit? 
Uh, I suppose close as I can get. There you go. <laughs> Enjoy it, gentlemen. Yeah, Paul Sir Echo saying Fury also was a good character. She was, yeah. Um, I just feel like her story's told, and I don't really need to see more of her. But, I don't know, maybe they can do it justice. I hope they do. It'd be nice to see Anya Taylor-Joy get some... get a kick-ass action movie to do, because she's never done really that kind of thing before, so... That was close. Oof. <laughs> Someone's asking, does she consent to me cornering her? I don't know, but oh shit, I've just been turned around by that combat there. That's the great thing, she doesn't have to, because I am her. <laughs> this is a big room. There's not a whole lot in it. Yes. I was going to ask the chat as well, what was your thoughts on Tom Hardy as Max? Didn't love him <laughs> myself, but I don't know, maybe I just never quite understood the appeal. You know, Mel Gibson was always the definitive one, obviously, and it's hard to see past that. Yeah, we've got a thousand people watching, woo! Why are a thousand people watching me play this? What's wrong with you? Ah, I'm just kidding. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. <laughs> the philosophic GI says, He was fine. Barely. <laughs> That's pretty much where I'm at. Goob's not holding back. Tom Hardy fucking sucked. I'm going to take a wild guess that that room that we were in, which was empty before, is not going to be now. Whoa. Okay. There's the inside of Lara's head, just in case you wanted to see it. It's not really a view I ever wanted. There's something in here. Oh. Wait, what's that? I've got a feeling it'd be very easy to fall into a pit here and be dead. Ah. Okay. <laughs> right, right. So we have to slide. Yeah. this. I don't get it. Do we have to open this door separate? Okay, I guess we have to go down here. JK says good morning from Texas. Hello to the wonderful people at Texas. I very much enjoyed being in Houston last year. Got a wonderful welcome. Hell of a nice place. I don't know how you guys survive there in the summertime though. That weather is brutal.
Okay, what am I what am I looking for here? Have I been in here already? Yeah, I've already gone up there. All right. Back the way I came, I guess. Oh yeah, I need to go back to the main area because there's a trap door or something open there. I don't know if I can jump this, but I can try. Oh, guess I can. Hey, BS174 says, cheers from Bike Week in Daytona Beach. I've been to Daytona Beach and it was fantastic. Yeah, we're in a quad bike actually and just drove it along the beach for a while. It was great fun. Oh, fuck. That's not how I wanted this to go. Alright. Take me back. Take me back, game. So that was unfortunate, but hey ho, it happens. <laughs> Apathetic misanthrope says, serves you right for complimenting Daytona Beach. Hey man, it's a nice beach. I mean, I don't know about the town, but the beach was nice. Definitely an improvement over Scottish beaches in that, you know, there's not like, you know, used tampons and dead bodies and stuff lying about everywhere, so I'd say that was an improvement. Okay, so being through here, all right. Uh, let's save it just for a second. Game, save. So, am I backtracking here, and I shouldn't be going this way, or what? Is it wrong to be going this way? Yeah, I've got the key, like uh, I'm saying. Up the slope to the double doors. Hmm. Okay. Left ledge from the rope bridge. I don't think there's much. It was just like a, a med pack or something there. Yeah, I mean, it's fine, I guess. Just shotgun shells. Uh, 
Ah, okay. <laughs> Toxic sci-fi. I don't remember. It's like 25 years since I played this. Yeah, that's fair enough. Maybe it is back in the room with the sand then. Oh, that's interesting that I fell there. <laughs> Someone said I got stuckmanized because I kind of don't know where to go now. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like there's more to do in that room, but I'm just not sure what it is. I've got the key, but what do I insert this key into? Let's try it. Let's see if there's anything here that's useful. Right, so that sand off fell down there, so I can't do anything with this. Yeah, it wants me to go back the way I came then. Like, that's the only way I can go, realistically. I can't jump back up there. So yeah, I just go this way. It must just be I have to backtrack. Damn, that was a long way to slide, but okay. Ah. Okay. Up. There it is. Okay. By George, I do believe I've got it. Hey, all right. That was easy. City of Khartoum. Done. Let me do a couple of these super chats while we're here. Uh, Noose says, for an experienced explorer, you'd think she'd have a flashlight. Love the show. <laughs> Indeed, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. That reminds me. If I'm going to do a couple of super chats, I should give you guys a nice view. So, let's see if I can manipulate it a little bit. Uh, come on, camera. Work with me here. There you go. Um... Ichio Tegi says, Hello, drinker. Finally able to super chat you. Every time the open bar is up, it's always during my sleep hours, but your open bar recap helped keep me sane during all of my work trips. Cheers from Indonesia. Thank you very much, man. Hope I can keep you amused, so appreciate it. Crimson Shadow says, Marvel and DC films are now about as good as a trapdoor in a canoe. <laughs> that is true, yeah. Um, at least the trapdoor in a canoe would provide some kind of entertainment, and it doesn't cost $100 million to make. And Goob says, when you finish watching the original Star Trek movies with Mauler, it'd be awesome if you did a happy hour with him and Gary on Galaxy Quest. That would be good fun, actually. I think we've all got a good appreciation for Galaxy Quest. And I will say, Sigourney Weaver is pretty hot in it. Just saying. Are you a key for? All right, that's the door, so okay. Call me intrigued by this room. here a panther better
I guess there's something behind each of these doors. Or behind each of these blocks. Someone's asking how much this game costs. I think it was like 30 quid or something. I got it through PlayStation Network, so... Yeah, it wasn't particularly expensive. And it's providing a fair bit of entertainment for me. Weirdly, more than a lot of AAA titles these days. Random alcove. Alright, it's just the same area. Okay, don't really understand the point of that, but sure. 25, was it? Okay. <laughs> what the fuck is a quid? A quid is a slang term for a pound. One British pound. Just in case there's more of these bad boys around. Right, let's take this one. Right, looks like there's something down there. How much is 25 shillings and sixpence? <laughs> yeah, I do not understand how people in my country got by before they brought in like the metric system for money. It, is, it was insane, the denominations they used. That'll be a th that'll be six shillings and thrupney. What? <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? No, nope, nothing here. I don't think I can jump that. Let's test it. All right, guess I have to go the other way. Ren says, Drinker, have you played Red Dead Redemption? Yes, I have. Completed it. Very good. Like that game. Lara, jump. It's funny playing this now, because, like, definitely with the early levels, I've got a strong recollection of them, and, like, the nostalgia is definitely there. With these later ones, like, man, I'm starting to get kind of hazy with what I'm doing. Not just because of that alcohol-induced brain damage, either. Well, that doesn't help. What is this strange place? Bane, Bane of Existence, too modern to remember what a, a halfpenny is. I do remember, and I don't know if they were even valid currency by that point, but I remember as a kid seeing half pennies. And for the life of me, I could not tell you what the point of them was. What the hell can you buy with half a penny? Water, let's go. Oh, right, what's in here? What is that? Oh, we're way back in the central area now. Just a crocodile there, eating me casually. Okay, where do we go from here? Uh, 
Aha. I'll have you. Give me it. Jesus. Yeah, I'll get that later. Don't really fancy trying to pick that up when there's a giant crocodile out for blood. Okay. Right, we have another key, which is lovely. That's what we need in life. Just need to get that door open. Oh, that's okay. Right, anything else I have to do here? Aha. Uh -huh. Crimson Shadow, you played Robocop Rogue, Rogue City Drinker. I, yes, I have. Played it and completed it, and it was very good. Wait a minute. That's opened two doors. Right. Okay. So, those are the items that I need to put into that pillar thing back in the Sphinx area. But I'm going to have to lower those drawbridges to get to them, which, okay, fine. Push, Lara. Error in 85, ever played Parasite Eve back in the day? Yes, I did. It was Square Enix that did that. It was like a weird crossover between Final Fantasy and Resident Evil. Kind of a bizarre game, but I really liked it. Look at that, they had furniture back in the day. Yeah. Nice uh, nice coffee table there. Fancy a, fancy a little drink, gentlemen? I'm buying. One down. Alright, we've got one weird thing. And taking that caused the door to not open, which is very reassuring, I would say. Alright, question is, where to next? Can I jump this? Feels like I probably can, but... Well, the worst thing that's going to happen is I'll end up in the water. Let's save it first. No! Ah, well, whatever. Let's see if there's anything here that's going to get me to the next area. Nope, that is not open. Okay. Ivory the Bashful says, Just popping in to say hello, Mr. Drinker. Hope you have a smashing game. Thank you. Appreciate it, and I'll do my best.
Right, there used to be a way to get this door open then. Presumably. Right, I've been there already. Anything up here? Back the way I came? I mean, I don't imagine so, but... Let's take a look. No, it's just sand down here, so there's nothing for me there. This is the entrance. Yeah, it has to be this way then. Whatever I'm looking for must be there. Okay, let's go back this way. So, nothing there. We've gone, got the key from that room. Is there anything else here? Anything I might be missing? Can't jump that. Okay, <laughs> what's up here again? Anything else I need to get? Amos Comedy says, Drinker, what are your thoughts on emulators? I mean, they're fine when they work, I guess. I don't tend to use them all that much, if I'm honest, but... You know, occasionally you want to play an old game. It's the best way to do it, I guess. Right. Okay, so I'm back where I started. I feel like there should be something else here. Someone's saying back in the room with the obelisks and the water. This one, you mean? Or this one. Try this one. Is there another way up? No, not in here. Oh, okay, the other room with the big pillar. Fine, I'll go back. Thanks, chats. Appreciate it. I'm still taking credit for having completed this entirely by myself, by the way, so if anyone asks, I'm just going to say, yeah, I, I totally figured it out all by, my, all by my lonesome. Nobody was there to help me whatsoever. Yeah, let's find the exit. Probably went round the long way there. Uh, there it is, yeah.
<laughs> Dare to be deviants is we are the many voices in Drinker's head. <laughs> That's it. You're making me do things, man. You're making me do all kinds of things. Oh, right, I see. Not gonna lie, wouldn't necessarily have spotted that. It was like that key thing in the cistern. Oh, how I laughed when I finally saw that one. Don's asked me, what kind of car do I drive? I drive an Audi. And I love it. Die! Alright, another room. It's very green. Oh, wow, that's weird. Sometimes the engine just gets a bit fucked up in this game. And it doesn't quite know what it's supposed to be rendering. Hmm. Not a whole lot here. I don't think I can jump over to that with the pillar on it because Lara will just bounce off. But let's try it. Yeah. <laughs> the hitbox for that is just one giant walk. <laughs> it's fine though. It's fine. I'm not angry. I'm just disappointed. It's the spooky music now, gents. It's brown trouser time. Take that. Don't want to go down there yet, just yet. I guess we just keep going up. If in doubt, go up. Hmm, not quite close enough. This is probably going to make me too close. Yep. The joys of trying to get the positioning just right. <laughs> no, it doesn't look like anything useful. I was starting to worry I'd gone too far there. Ah, uh, yeah, Hal Baloney says you inch forward every time you do a jump, so just keep doing it and eventually you'll get there. Yeah, I suppose so. I keep forgetting there's that mechanic there. It's a little bit helpful there. Right, damn, you just keep going, don't we? This is the vertical room that never ends. Speaking of which, I'm going to cheat there and save. Because if I screw up a jump, that's a lot of climbing. I am Reese. Michael Moore as Lara Croft. Sure, yeah, he's definitely got the look for it. Probably done with the shotgun there, because I am going to run out of bullets pretty rapidly. Okay, what's up here for me? What do you have, game? What do you have to show me? Ah, 
Alec Baldwin is Lara Croft. I mean, yeah, he's handy with the guns, that's for sure. That's just a med pack down there. I'm not going to waste time going all the way down for that. Is that a door or a block? Let's find out. It's a door. Yeah, <laughs> I'm beginning to think this tomb's not entirely natural. I'm starting to get that feeling too. What is this? I've been here before. <laughs> Feast your eyes, boys. I don't think I've been here. Uh... Okay. Um... Now where am I? Yeah, Matt Smith, he's right. We all know it's going to be Pedro Pascal. And sure it will be. And he'll be stunning and brave, don't you know? Anything in that one? No, it's just the same passage. in here that's useful. Not a whole lot. Okay, is that it? Am I trapped in there forever? Well, there ain't nothing here. Yeah, <laughs> just realized we're actually... Ah, oh, there's a switch. That's better. Something opened. Don't know what it was. I'm assuming it's here. No, it's not. Okay. One of these other doors over here, maybe? Oh, right, it just made them to blocks. Okay, I'm not sure how that works, but fine. care about that, so up we go. You know, sometimes you see a health pack or a pickup or something and you think, ah, you know, I could get that. Just can't be arsed going to all the effort, though. Doesn't seem worth it somehow. Doesn't look like there's anything particularly useful there. Okay, carry on. Do I have to jump over there? Is that what I'm expected to do? That was pretty far, man. I don't know if I can make that one. Try it. Oh! <laughs> oh, that name! Oh, sorry, that sound. Damn. Just while I'm waiting there. Uh, Don says, what's your favourite alcoholic beverage? A good malt whiskey. That's the way I go. Uh, David McFarlane says, thanks for showing Lara's lovely body. I am sprung. <laughs> well, one does try to please. And Michael Martin says, what's your advice for crafting a satisfying B character or plot in relation to the main story? I don't know, pretend like it's the main story by itself and then give it that level of care and attention, I suppose. Um, yeah, that's probably how I'd suggest going with it. <laughs> you know, you want, it to, you want it to seem like something that's actually legit and not just tacked on. So that would probably be... That would be my suggestion for now. Um, hello, one person who's watching. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Oh. 
Hail to Andrew Grange and Atom Hammer and Horse Meats. Hello, you lovely people. Actually, I'm going to go back up there. That's a bit high. Cyprian Dochik. Yes, there is more. I had a bit of time this evening and I thought maybe I can just like complete this game. Do something crazy, you know? So I'll do my best. Rick Johnson, the legend himself. No, Rick, you're the true legend here. I'm just an interloper. Alright, that's the thing I need. I need the onk. Or whatever the hell you call it. <laughs> Diabolical daddy. The drunk bastard himself. Yes, that's me. I'm here and I'm drunk. Well, I've got a few beers and I'm working up to getting drunk, so... Yeah, that's the thing. Alright, give me it. Because inside our OG Lara Croft is awesome. We'll never see her like again, especially with the pussies at Crystal Dynamics. Oh, I'm so sorry that there's culturally insensitive things in our games. <laughs> John Chan says, Drinker, I'm disappointed. You prefer seeing Lara's triangular tits to Tifa's? I don't know, man. These don't look too triangular to me. They're very shapely. There you go. Feast your eyes, boys. Anyway, let's carry on. Josh says, do you wear your aviators while playing? Well, that's for me to know and you to find out. But yes. <laughs> Alright, what have we got here? A room with stuff in it. Looks like we're going to have to climb down. Oh my god, a chair. That's the worst thing imaginable. Come on, Lara. Alright, let's go along this way. Anthony Garcia says, Bring back shapely women in video games. I agree. I think Japan's going to do it if we don't, so what the hell. Either way, I'll support it. It's over here. I know there's a ledge up there that I have to climb to, but let's just take a look, see what we got. Yeah, alright. Hmm, I'm just on the other side here. Nothing terribly interesting right now. Do we climb down? Dare we do it? I think we might as well. Blav answered, why are her legs planted so far apart when she stops moving? I don't know, she's just like ready to spring into action, I guess. <clears throat> KJ says, get Lara drunk so she won't remember what you did to her. Yeah, but she'll still have the marks. <laughs> what have we got here? Anything? Must be something here. Otherwise, what's the point in this area? Oh, maybe it is actually pointless. I'm sensing a lot of, like, ledge hanging here. But where is it taking me? Must be a reason for it. Oh, is it just literally to provide a way up? What the hell? Whoa! <laughs> Where'd you come from? They're messing me up. <laughs> I mean, 
these are just what you'd expect to fight. Oh, damn, they messed me up real bad. <laughs> All right, let's try that again. There better be something worthwhile down here. Hmm, pretty high. Alright, do I try and drop? I might just try it. Clearly there's a way back up there, so that's fine. Right, I'll try it. See if I can drop this far. It's quite far, but... Uh, okay. Took a bit of damage, but I can live with that. <sighs> It's when they double team you that's the problem. <laughs> the right tackle says Drinker, I just got back from Dune Part 2. Really liked it. Apart from Zendaya, she sucks the energy out of every scene she's in. I mean. <laughs> I'm not gonna say that I'm the biggest fan of Zendaya, but to be fair, like, that's kind of what her character calls for, I guess. Like, Chani's meant to be fairly stoic in this. Oh, well, there's basically nothing here. There must be something useful in this area. But I wouldn't say she's the most versatile of actresses. I'm just pleased that she's not doing that stupid fucking squint that she did all the time in Spider-Man. God, she was annoying in that. Oh, wait. Maybe there is something here. Kind of looks like there might be. Mm, can I jump up to it though? That's the question. There's a passageway there. Let's have a look from back here. Yeah. All right. That looks like I might need to get in there. All right, let's see if there's an easier way up than. Is it weird collision detection where you can't actually jump on this? Uh, okay, it's not gonna let me do that, huh? Fine. And it's too high. Fuck. Alright, go round. Go round. Fine. <laughs> Some of the descriptions of Zendaya are amazing. Poor girl. Taking a lot of shit, but at the same time... She is a little bit annoying. Cookie cool says, evening drinker, evening to you, sir. Ah, it's too high to jump. There better be something really fucking interesting in there, I tell you. <coughs> yeah, Hodor says didn't want to change from pistols, but these mummified fuckers made me take out the shotgun. <laughs> they are pretty tough. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go on hope here that there's something in that tunnel that I need to get. Otherwise, oh, that's a big old waste of time. Okay, let's take a look. It's probably too high to drop. Hello, as the dudes. I'm pretty sure you were in my stream earlier. It's good to have you back. I didn't plan to do another one today, but. I had a bit of time this evening. And I thought, what the hell? Let's just see how far we can get. Maybe I can even get this thing finished. <laughs> it's like my personal quest. I can't stop now. I have to finish. Ah, 
Hasba says, what am I drinking tonight? I've got a couple of bottles of San Miguel here. <laughs> Yoshi Yoshi, Zendaya's like those Chilean alien mummies. <laughs> Redhead erasure is real. I'm pretty sure the Harkonnens actually are supposed to have red hair. Now they're just bald. It's a bit weird. Just in case I waste my time here. Yeah, they're fat and bald. Well, fade Routh, though, isn't... Right, what is in here? Ah, switch. Figured I might need something. There you go. Good! That's our next thingamajig. Damn. Not much choice there, I have to use the med pack. <laughs> Snelter says, think June Part 2 was the best movie I've seen in theatres. I'm 25, so too young to be... Um, I, can't remember, I can't read the rest of it, but... Yeah, I mean, it's definitely a hell of an experience when you watch it in IMAX. Um, that shit will just, like, make the entire room vibrate. But no, it's good for that. <laughs> Harkonnen aesthetic was just space uruk high. They did seem almost like bestial, didn't they? 800 blinks says, does Tiana, Tatiana dress up like Lara when you let her out of her cage? Who says I let her out of her cage, eh? That's presumptuous. Now we've got to try and get this lined up just right. Oh, I did it. Yay. Ammo. Alright, I'll take that. Courageous Dog says he remembers watching Blade Runner in the cinema. That is old, man. I'm not going to lie. And that movie was what? 1981? 82? Okay. Got to get back down there. That's quite a jump. <laughs> I don't feel like she's going to make that. So, let's try it. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh, oh right, I did. Okay, fair enough. Save myself a bit of time there. Right, so I got one more to get. Super. Okay, so the question is, how do I get that last one? That's the last bridge that I need to lower. I just need to figure out how to do it. Screw it. In the water. Let's see if there's something there for us. No, so that door's not open yet. And there ain't nothing here. Okay. Uh, 
uh, switch has been pulled. Ah, Maria Avalon says, glad you're enjoying the remaster. I recently completed it myself and unfinished business. Good job. Good on you. Is there anything left in here that I need to get? I don't think so. <laughs> Benjamin Perez says, Drinker, have you ever met the I smell shite lady from Chewing the Fat? Uh, never met her in real life, no. I don't think so, anyway. Maybe on a very drunken night out, but... Man, I think it's Karen Dunbar, is her name? It's a good comedian. Um, yeah, Chewing the Fat was fucking amazing back in the day. But yeah, I don't know how I've done it, but <laughs> if I've somehow made that popular again, that's all to the good. Alright, whatever I'm needing must be back in this room, I guess. Yeah. Killix says, Critical Drinkers determined to finish this game as fast as possible. I mean, come on, man. Been at this for a while now. All I need to figure out is how to get the last drawbridge lowered. Uh, Ryan Max is a prefer still game. Um, yeah, it was brilliant. Um, can't fault that at all. What a great ending it had as well. Why do I feel like this? There's that tune. Actually, I don't have to go back up here again. Nah, so that's gonna that's the beginning of the level, so there's nothing more there. So I came in. I'm just gonna enjoy the ambience for a minute. That is nice stuff. Is Egg Shabam saying drinker, please watch Attack on Satan? I am! <laughs> it's great, I'm on season two. Is there another way across on this side, maybe? Let's have a look. Nah, nothing there. So the only way up is... Uh, Egg Shabam says, am I going to be doing a review of it? Yes! So, I don't know if it's better to go season by season or what. But uh, yeah, I'll get a review done for season one for sure. Cause it's that damn good. <laughs> right, up you go, Lara. <laughs> Blunt punk reviews. Lara's got some lung capacity on her, I imagine. You dirty dog, you. But yes, I'm sure she does. to try and get up to the top again. Ooh, Theodore Westbrooks. Original Star Wars trilogy or Lord of the Rings? I'm going to say Lord of the Rings. Might be controversial. Don't care. If I had to choose between the two, I feel like that's more important and I love it more. No, no don't want to go that way.
Oh, Daniel Scrivener says, Drinker, what's your thoughts on the Half-Life franchise? Very much enjoy it. Played all the games back in the day. Even Blue Shift. And that was a bit shit in comparison, but I still like it. I always thought Opposing Force was a pretty good add-on as well. It's a neat little Half-Life <laughs> bit of DLC. Alright. We're up here. So we've got... Bison Ghoul says, Loved your podcast with Trigonometry. Thank you very much, man. Wait a minute. Is that out there? Is it as simple as that? Wait a minute. Can it be that one there, surely? Let me take a saunter over. See what I can see here. No, I pulled that one down already, that lever. Okay. Hmm. First thing I'm going to do is get that med pack there. I've taken a few hits. Ah, excuse me. Ooh, there's a whole bonanza of stuff here. But yeah, Big Phil Scolari saying updated graphics didn't help in the cistern level. Yeah, they, they definitely didn't. That was a pretty rare example, though, to be fair. Okay. Yeah, that was just... The key items that they had there just were rendered so small that you literally couldn't see the fucking things. How did I get through this door here, then? Is there a switch that I'm not seeing? Anything there that I need to be looking out for? Not really. Nothing else. I'm not really going to try and jump onto the top of that obelisk just to get some rounds. Uh, hmm. That's interesting. <coughs> so I have to be on the lookout for a switch that I never spotted before. Oh, you can see how the frame rate absolutely chugs. Do I want to slide down there? That's the question. The question I have to ask myself. Uh, hold on. Right, let's go down here and see where this takes us. Uh, 
And that switch is down. Oh, nothing there. Nah. <laughs> Theodore Westbrooks. Okay, drinker, but the true question. Lord of the Rings or Rings of Power now? Be honest. <laughs> oh no, how do I pick between them? What a tough one. Are any of these blocks pushable or anything? No. Okay. Ain't nothing here. One last look. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, I think I can turn this back into a staircase. Yeah, there we go. Oh, someone's asking, Rings of Power or She-Hulk? Crikey, that's a tough one. Is this like, which would you rather erase from all of existence? <laughs> Alright, there's no point climbing all the way back up there. Is there a way to get over there though? I feel like there should be. Is there a switch I need to pull? Hey, if I try this one, let's see if that does anything. Come on, I believe in you. That's more like it. So is there a way to climb up onto this? Let's we'll see what happens when we get up here. Ah, okay. So I need to shimmy. Okay, it sort of makes sense, I guess. Daniel Callahan says, Drinker, how are your greyhounds and the shelter you were supporting? Both are doing excellent, thank you. The critical doggos are happy. You know, they get to live a pretty sweet life these days. Get to spend their days chilling out and... Yeah, like, joking aside... The money we were able to raise for that Greyhound Sanctuary, like, that made a fucking huge difference to them. Because they are not, like, a big charity. They're not a big operation. Um, and so that is the sort of thing that just absolutely changes everything for them. Um, yeah, I think in total, including donations, um, plus the what we did with the, the plushies, um... That was round about 35 grand we raised for them, which is enough to run the place for a whole year. Which is, yeah, it's just brilliant to be able to see. And it blew me away how much people, you know, really helped out and what a difference it can make. So, yeah. Thank you guys for everyone who donated or got themselves a plushie. <laughs> That's a good sound. Right, we're going to go up there and start killing stuff.
Daniel Scrivener, drinker, thoughts on Father Ted? Amazing. It's, uh, yeah, fantastic comedy show. Can't beat it. And if you could, would you even want to? Yes! Alright, that gets us the last item. Might as well grab that since I'm here. And I presume this leads me back down. It does indeed. Okay. Goody gum drops. Can I get down from here though? Is it is it too far? Is it possible? Let's find out. Uh no, that's way too fucking far. Oh, let's go this way. Wait, can we get there from here? Or do we not want to do that? Yeah, let's go down this way. <laughs> Mike says, did you teach the critical doggo to lay on his back and expose his balls to the world? No, that just sort of came naturally to him. You know, he's an exhibitionist at heart, I think. So he was very happy to do it. It's his way of a certain dominance over the world, I think. <laughs> Dick Van Whiskey, nah, they learned it from you. Stop lying. <laughs> wow. Is this guy's where we need to be? Is this where we're going? Someone's here, and they are not happy. Damn, these things are everywhere, man. They're coming out of the goddamn walls! Oh, son of a bitch. Yeah, they're tough, man. Turns out they do a lot of damage. That calls for a beer. Ah. Sapphire blues is what the hell are even those? That is a good question. They are mummies. But they're not just mummified people, they're mummified aliens. Because, you know, of course they are. <laughs> Someone said that's a two a two beer death. Indeed. I got pretty fucked up there. So the only answer is to get even more fucked up with the beer. far enough down? Can we go from there? Yeah, I'll save it here, so I don't want to do that again. Okay, let's go down and shoot some stuff. And 
not be at the point of death as well. <laughs> Ah, that's what you get. <laughs> okay. Can I just fall from here? Fall from grace? Yeah, I do have a shotgun. I just, I don't like it. It's a bit shit. I can't go that way. And you can't really move. You can't use it while you're on the move. Yeah, you're right, Glenn Ward. They did make less effort. They just weren't trying. And that left me feeling disappointed. Where are you taking me here? Can't go anywhere there. How do I get back to the main room? Okay. Dan S says, do the old cheats still work? Sadly, they don't. As far as I'm aware, anyway. And no, there is no nude raider. Sadly. Do the handstand pull up. Okay, if you insist. Just because I can. And I'm not going to lie, that is a pretty nice mocap that they did for that. I assume they got some kind of mocap actress in for it. Yeah, the only thing I'm lacking now is the ability to get back into the main room so I can collect the final piece of the puzzle. I feel like I'm just having to like retrace my steps a little bit here. Alright. How do I get down to you? Yeah, I was, can't remember who said it, but they asked her, am I playing with the original control scheme? Damn right I am. It's the only way to play. I mean, this is what Tomb Raider was designed for. See if there's any other way I can get there. That is really far. Uh, do I just... Hmm. Yeah, I know it's water there, and I can jump into it, but then the problem is I still need to get to a point where I can... Um, 
yeah, where I can actually climb up. Wait a minute. Is this going to get me through? Will it? Ah, uh, there we go. I'd forgotten about this bit. Okay, cool. We have all three. Or four, sorry. Well, that seems like my way forward is obvious. Down into the deep we go. This is taking me back the way I came. Ooh. You, I'm gonna have you. Made me work for that one. Ooh. Nah, it's just shotgun. Don't care. And I also want to not die. That sounds promising. Cool. Yeah, that's just the sort of thing that happens. <coughs> Anything up here for me? Yes. Go, Lara! <laughs> Alright, this is a fairly empty room. Apart from a first aid kit, which I'll have. Yeah, this, uh, when I think about some of the things that happen in this game, like, you end up fighting a kid on a skateboard who's armed with Uzis. I mean, and then you kill him, <laughs> which is interesting. It's a choice, for sure. That's a creative choice. Uh, you could definitely tell this was made in the 90s. Where are we at? Ah, the Sphinx. Right, let's put these things into the thing so we can open the door. Go, 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 Lara. I like how the game gives you that little, you know, shortcut to get back. Uh, yeah, try you, sure. And then guess what? The door doesn't open because I haven't put everything in yet. Next thing. Yeah, yeah, at one point in the game you have to fight all three of, La of Natla's henchmen. So one's like a kid on a skateboard, another one's like a cowboy guy, and the third one is Larson, I think. Okay. Super duper. Let us leave this place and progress to the next level. Nice. 
while that's going on, give me a second. I'll just check the chats. Uh, okay, there it is. All right, there's a few super chats come in here. Uh, as his wonky eyebrow says, Hail good sir, what are you drinking this evening? I'm on San Miguel, thank you. Dark Hour says, Drinker and two big talents of Lara Croft. I'm in. <laughs> good choice, my friend. 007 Angelo, don't get Lara drunk or she'll walk off a cliff. I mean, she does that anyway without, <laughs> without needing to get drunk, especially when I'm in control of her. Quark says, Once upon a time in America or The Godfather? I'm going to have to say The Godfather, I'm afraid. Sushi Oishi says, Hey, Drinker, hope you're doing well. Stay healthy, but any cocktails you'd recommend lately? Uh, my personal favorite is the Negroni. Um, failing that, probably um, a good martini goes down pretty well, actually. I've started to, get into the, started to get into the martinis a bit more recently, and I must admit, they're quite nice. Uh, Multi Dryer says, would you like to have Stalin as a drinking buddy since he drank from 8 p.m. till 6 a.m. and woke around 10 a.m. to get back to normal? <laughs> I don't know. I, I like Winston Churchill's approach. He just kind of drank steadily throughout the day. It seemed to work pretty well for him. He lived to like 95. Nick the Greek says, Drinker, you should do a recommends for Dirty Harry. True. It's a good choice. It's a good movie. Chris Nicholson, speaking of things that are damn good, I very highly recommend the original Avatar as well. Even for a kid's show, it's one of my favorite shows ever. Like Avatar The Last Airbender, is it? Um, yeah, I never really got into that. All I saw was the terrible movie from like 20 years ago. Paul Knoll, mate, you're a legend. Been watching for years and a Rogue Elements backer. Thank you very much, my friends. Keep going as it's really appreciated. Uh, P.S. Fuck me, controls are hard with Tomb Raider. I don't know, man. I always found the, the tank controls pretty intuitive, but I mean, yeah, it made sense back in the day, I suppose, and it just works now. Um, you've just got to get a feel for it. Uh, Divine Demigod says, I found your channel pretty recently, and I think you're hilarious and have great commentary on what is wrong with entertainment these days. A toast for even more success and a bright future. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Uh, Jason Van Stone just started this up a week ago. I can't believe I beat these as a kid. Kept getting lost for hours. I mean, to be fair, I'm on the verge of getting lost for hours as well. Uh, I spent about an hour and a half in the cistern. Damn, that level was hard. Grim Vale says, Sad they left Tomb Raider 4 out of this collection. I feel that it had the most interesting story and Von Croy was an amazing antagonist. Well, yeah, I mean, maybe it'll get a remaster. Uh, Ultra says, RIP Jenna Jameson. I was hoping one group get together, I convince her to go on your stream and talk about her Pirates film to you. <laughs> that would have been epic. Now, there's a Pirates movie I wouldn't mind reviewing. All right. Let's see what we got in here. This, I think, is the level with the gigantic Sphinx, which is just awesome. Uh, Carter Kent says, did Drinker review Violent Night? I didn't, I'm afraid. I never got around to it, but it was pretty good fun. I like that movie. Even though David Harbour is a bit of a fucking weirdo in real life, he was really good in that film. You know what I'm going to do? Just for you guys, because you were complaining about it before, I'll get the shotgun out. That was a fluke, okay? Okay, maybe it's quite good. <laughs> Oh, is he married to Lily Allen? Oh, poor fucking man. God, she's annoying. She's definitely the lesser of the Allen siblings. She was like a one-time wannabe pop starlet. Um, and now is a fucking champagne socialist. Who likes to pretend that she's some deep philosophical thinker, which is... Unironically hilarious. Damn, I got a lot of ammo for these things. Uh, here's the famous Sphinx level.
<laughs> Sarah says, Drinker, ever delivered mail for a living? I have not, I'm afraid, nah. Oh, Qual says he played bass for Lily 15 years ago. She was pretty cool back then. She may indeed have been, but man, it's changed days now. She comes across like a total asshole. Vaughn says, favorite game drinker? This one right here. Uh, nah, favorite game series of all time is probably Resident Evil. No. No. Uh, yeah, I love those games. Never get tired of playing them. Look at that. Let's see what it was like in the original graphics. <laughs> that was one sad looking face. Uh, no, nah, I've got nothing no. to put in there, so okay, fine. Can't go here right now. Is there a way down off this thing? Mm, yeah, probably don't want to fall off that. Let's see if I can... Uh, no. That's probably going to get me killed. Uh, Joshua Henderson says, which uh, Tomb Raider game is your favourite? Uh, the first one, I think, honestly, I think they got the perfect balance of exploration problem solving and a um, little bit of combat but it never felt like overdone or anything so yeah probably Tomb Raider 1 is my favourite and it just felt so fresh like it was so um, different from anything that had come before it you know um, it's obviously you know the graphics are laughable by today's standards but back then it didn't matter you know it was a complete revelation oh shit ah! <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, someone's asking, is this the game where you had to jump on a hand um, and turn to gold? Uh, sorry, restart level. It is, uh, it is, yeah. Um, that's the hand of Midas. I think, she, I think Lara was going to be okay there. You know, I should have told her to walk it off. Oh, Sarah, you're an Amazon driver. It's mind-numbing work, but my quads are great. <laughs> oh, man, it's just... Yeah, that must be a tough gig, man. I mean, I suppose at least you're not stuck in an office, but yeah, you must have to deal with a lot of assholes as well and a lot of awkward deliveries. I'm not even going to bother with that one. Right, first thing we want to do is get down off the Sphinx. Haggis loving nut jobs is Amazon warehouse in Dunfermline six nights a week. Jesus. That's got to be a tough one, man. I feel for you, but <laughs> thank you for the work you do because, man, even I get Amazon deliveries quite a bit. Ross M says, does this remastered bundle uh, justify the £25 they're charging for it? I'd say it does, actually. Just even the amount of time that I've spent on it, like, I must have sunk 10 hours into it so far, I mean, and I'm not that close to the end, so yeah, I'd say it's probably worth it. Definitely good for nostalgia value, that's for sure. Someone's watching me play this while sipping Woodford. 
not a bad way to spend your evening. Hopefully I can provide a bit of entertainment while I'm doing this. Nope, nothing there. Back the way we came. We're gonna have to do some platforming. What have we got over here? Okay. Looks like we need to be climbing up there. Wow. Sometimes it's just a case of trying to work out the level geometry. <coughs> the blocks make it easier, that's for sure. Jake Martin says, I didn't realize you did gaming streams, drinker. Is the first is this the first game I've streamed? No, it's not. It's the first of many, but I've done loads of like Resident Evil streams. I did a few like Call of Duty ones back in the day, and you can find them all on my second channel. Critiker Drinker After Hours, and they're all under the same playlist, like Drinker Does Gaming. <laughs> We're making progress. I'm not sure what we're progressing into. And I'm inside the wall, so that's nice. Yeah, I'm going to be going along here, I suppose. <coughs> Favourite scotch, someone was asking me? It's probably Lagavulin. That stuff is fucking good. Pretty expensive, but it's worth it. Sarah says, Did, congrats on the Russell Crowe interview. That was wholesome. Thank you. Um, yeah, he was a good guy to talk to. Um, I'd heard all kinds of horror stories about you know him being difficult or whatever and um, temperamental, but not with me at all. Maybe he was on his best behavior. Who knows? And I made a conscious decision not to ask him about Gladiator because he's probably fucking sick of talking about that movie over the years. Right. One down. Let me save it. <laughs> the right tackle says he knew who the real Chad was in the room. <laughs> I don't know, man. I think. Oh, shit. Fuck. <sighs> oh, well, I'm down, so. One way or another. There's a. F do I have to do the joke about mummies? It's like when I see a flying one. They fly now. Okay, what do we have here? Is that going to fly into the room with me? Yeah. Hodor says, did you ask Russell Crowe about virtuosity? I'm afraid I didn't, no. I only had about 20 minutes with him, so uh, I had to be pretty... Pretty like judicious about the questions I ask because I didn't want to fucking waste my time. Oh, I think I was supposed to slide backwards down there. I mean, how could I not have known that? <coughs> Kenneth Noisewater says, Anyone seen Cinderella Man? Genuinely Russell Crowe's most underrated film. I totally agree. Um, I even asked him about that, actually. Because um, I was a big fan of it. I thought it was a, a really underrated boxing movie. Really inspiring story as well. The guy who played Jimmy Braddock. Um, 
kind of lost everything during the Great Depression and had to claw his way back. Pretty cool. Piotr is asking, why did they all explode? I don't know, actually. It's a weird thing for mummies to do. Well, amongst other things, like being alive. Master and Commander, yeah, I had to ask him about that as well. I could tell how how much he liked that, just by how his eyes lit up when he was talking about it. Um, I think he really respected the amount of work the director put in just to get everything right, all the historical details and stuff. Oh, come on. I thought I should have got that. On the plus side, though, I'll have that. Key. Oh, come on. The Right Tackle says The Nice Guys is underrated. It really is, actually. That's a good film. Really fucking funny. Right, I guess I have to time this just right. Oh, come on. Is this a case of... Oh, I wonder, actually, if I slide down backwards, grab the edge, and then pull myself up. Let's try that. Yeah, someone mentioned I haven't said anything about Invincible Season 2. I know, it's because I haven't seen it yet. I've just been too busy. Ah, is there a way to flip backwards in the air? Can you turn around? Let's try that. Is it a case of... Yeah, hold on. I probably shouldn't do it in that direction. How does one flip backwards like that? Oh, you can only do it from Tomb Raider 2 onwards, so I guess I just have to try and time it right. I'm assuming there's even anything there that I need. Like... Hold on. Roll at the start of the jump. Right. Let's try it. <laughs> oh! <laughs> okay, yeah. Almost did it. I get what I did wrong there. So it is possible. I did it. I just can't do it again. Screw it. I'll try and go down this way and just have to time it right. Okay, fine. That'll do. Never bother with the fancy stuff. Just do it the simple way. And we got nothing right now. Oh, okay. Key. Fine. Good enough. Is that a centaur? It is as well. I mean, that's something you don't see every day. Daft me. <laughs> what a daft enemy. <laughs> cool. Alright. 
We got a thing. <coughs> Shatness says, the devs were like, put a centaur in it and make it fleshy and weird. <laughs> Job done. Alright. Now that we've got this thing, let's go and take it to the Sphinx. They shoot, like, fireballs of some sort, just because, you know, of course they can. FX says that the centaur is much tougher in anniversary. Interesting. Because it took a lot of killing there, actually. Alright, let's get up this thing. That's not going to get me up. <laughs> and yes, I'm aware of the joke. Maybe I can get up the sandy bit here. Come on. That's going to be a struggle. Okay. Let's go a different way. Looks like we've got a route here ready made for us. looking for try it yes okay all right that's a door over there or is that a switch yes yeah, the door Look at these amazing graphics. Okay. Took a bit of a hit there. I can live with that. Sweetie Bobby Bliss says, Scarlett Johansson would have been a great Lara back in the day. I mean, maybe. She had the boobs for it, that's for sure. Why do I feel like there's something floating there in midair? That's weird. Let's see if we can get over here. And also, I'm going to save it. Yeah, Tim says Haley Atwell would make a great Lara. I said the same. problem is, she might be a little old now. And I hate to say that, I hate to be the person to say it, but she is like 42, I think. Probably pushing it a little. Especially for doing the really physical stuff as Lara. Nexus is young Elizabeth Hurley. Yeah, I mean, she wasn't a great actress, but 
Damn, she was hot back in the day. I think someone put a message there. I think they think I'm still playing from, like, this afternoon. Uh, no, this is like a separate stream, I'm afraid. Um, yeah, I took a few hours off to go and do some other stuff. Eric says, just about 2 million subscribers, I know, it's kind of crazy stuff, man. Never thought I'd get anywhere near that, but hey, it seems to be happening, so I'm happy about it. Okay. Let's think about where we need to go next. I know, can you believe it? I have a life outside of <laughs> YouTubing. It's crazy, I know. Ridiculous, that's what it is. I wonder if I need to go even higher up there. Is there other stuff over there? No, I've done that bit already. I feel like there's a lot of stuff over at this side that I need to get to. Carry on up, Lara. Carry on up. I think Peter Dinklage, yeah, I could get behind him as Lara Croft. I think he could do it. He can do a kind of British accent. Is that what we would call it from Game of Thrones? It seems like there's loads of stuff over there. Do I need to find a way to get over there? Now, I must admit, I'm slightly confused because I feel like there's a pair of Uzis floating in midair <coughs> in the center of the room. I'm a little bit baffled as to how to explain that. I mean, they look nice. Just not sure how I'm meant to get to them. Must have to be just perfect. <laughs> Let's see if there's any way to get over there. Yeah, look at that. That is bizarre. Does give me a good view of the level, though. Okay, so there's a big old door up there. Uzi's down there. I've got to that switch over at the far corner, so I don't need to worry about that. Can I use this there? No. No. So it must be a second onk object that I need. Right, so if I was to climb up on the other side there and then head over, is there a way I can get over there? Yeah, that's got to be a tough one. <laughs> Can 
<laughs> I wonder if I can just jump to them. Like, are they on some kind of crazy invisible platform? Is that why they seem to be just hanging there in midair? <laughs> Alright, I'm going to go for it. But I'm going to save first. Huh. Well, there they are. I mean, I do not remember this from the game at all. I feel like this asshole is going to knock me off my platform as well. In fact, what am I doing? Let's get the Uzis out. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, well, there's some interesting shenanigans then. <coughs> no. Emma Watson as Lara. Get out. Right, so I've done that switch already. Maybe there's a way to get back over this way. Oh no, shit. <laughs> let's, let's forget that that happened. <laughs> I don't know why she suddenly like went off sideways there. to now. Yeah, it's just going to take me down. And we don't want that. Oh, interestingly though, I do see a, a crack in the wall there. That's something I'm supposed to use. Try it. Well, it can't be for that there, so where do we want to go next? Oh yeah, Kenneth Noisewater is saying that Pedro Pascal is in Gladiator 2 this year. Of course he is, because fucking Pedro Pascal is in everything. God, I'm so sick of that fucking guy. Ooh. Yeah, I can't really see any way forward from here, so... Fuck. Apart from, you know, throwing myself off a cliff. Okay, 
Yeah, let's try it. Get up on here. Must be a place I can go from here. Oh yeah, I see. I think there's a way to climb up. That's more like it. Get yourself up there, Lara. Hmm. Guess what I'm going to be doing. Uh, a sec. Do it, Lara. Okay, another door is open. Now we just need to get to it. Damn, that's satisfying. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, give me a second to answer a couple of these super chats since I'm here. Um, Ian so forth gifted 10 critical drinker memberships thank you for that very generous sir Justin Martin says can't wait until Disney releases their new Pirates movie just so I can watch you guys compare the box office numbers to the best Pirates movie should be close <laughs> yeah I don't think so <laughs> Camelot says working towards paying back some drinks cheers man good to see you on here uh, M8566 says mummy 1999 happy hour when I would love to do that with Mauler, and I'm sure he'd be up for that as well. Um, Kevin B. The Man in the Van uh, has become a new member, so welcome, sir. Jay Hams, gifted 10 critical drinker memberships. Thank you for your generosity. And Kevin B. The Man in the Van says, Greetings, sir, from the sun and fun capital of the world, Las Vegas. Keep up the epic good work. Thank you. I will do my best, my friend. Alright, let's see if we can get down from here and get over to that other door which is really fucking high up so no idea how I'm going to get to it but I'll figure something out. Actually, that might work better. Oh. Good enough. Yeah, as far as I'm concerned, there ain't never going to be a Pirates movie without Johnny Depp. It's just not going to happen. Kenneth Noisewater, a drinker I know you love war history. Are you a fan of Mark Felton? Weirdly, I only ever found out about him because of Echo Chamberlain. Oh, no, I can't go that way. Um... Yeah, he did a video kind of taking the piss out of Mark Felton, and I was just curious to see his stuff, so I ended up watching it, and I was like, this is actually kind of weirdly entertaining. Just because he covers such obscure topics. Things you would never fucking think about. Whoa. I have to go the other way. 
but yeah, it does become strangely interesting. Okay, gotta find a way to get to that door. It's gonna be more of those invisible platforms or what? Do we have to try a bit of crazy jumping? I think it's gonna have to be. I could probably make that. Actually, no, that's really fucking far. Uh, Got to be a way to get up there. Right, let's save it first. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Kenneth says it's mad because Mark Felton's got the most boring voice <laughs> of all time. It's like, I don't know, man, have you met Chris Stockman? Nope. Uh, that was a bad idea. <laughs> okay, can't make that jump too far. Let's see if there's any way to get up here. Find a way. Uh, try it, I suppose. See if we can. No. Nope. Uh. I'm reloading that one. For time's sake. Do we want to go all the way up to the top? Are there more of these weird floating platforms that are invisible? Don't think so. Okay, we can't go that way. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to make this one either. Should we try that platform where the Uzis were? Uh, someone's asking where this... Was this saving it possible in the original? No, you had to use save crystals back in the day, and there was only like a couple scattered in each level, and you could only use them once. So once you'd once you'd used them, that was it, and potentially you could end up doing a lot of backtracking as a result, which wasn't always great, but it definitely spun out the experience. I think the Uzi was around about there. I'll try it. Nope, it's not there. <laughs> okay, that didn't work. Uh, yeah, it's too far away. Okay, so yeah, that's no good. Yeah, none of those are any use, really. Oh, Hodor is saying that the PC versions allowed you to save anywhere. Damn PC gamers. It's not fair, man. It's not fair. Let's 
try this. Yeah, the PC Master Race wins again, eh? I guess I'll try, see if there's an invisible platform there again. Don't think there will be, though. No. What's on? Okay. Our door is up there. We need to get to it. How is such a thing accomplished? There's definitely blocks there that we can... If we can just get over there... Yeah, it's got to be that platform that the Uzis were on. Casey Cockerham says, Drinker, do you ever rage quit? I mean, I have on um, Elden Ring. More than once, in fact. <laughs> so, uh, it's just one of those games that just becomes not all that fun to play. See, I feel like it was right there in front of me. But I also feel like I'm just going to die here. Yep. Okay. Anything over here that I can use. I'll take these. Okay, can't get in there yet. Oh, get up there. Will she go there? No, she won't do that. No, that's way too high. Whatever we need, it's got to be up there. <coughs> Anything in here that's vaguely useful? I'll take them, actually. Right. 
Right, nothing for the ski on to do there. Been in there already. I th <laughs> the only thing that's up here now is the keyholes where I can put the keys, the onks, I believe they call them. So this doesn't do anything if I just leave it like that, presumably. Okay. Anything around this side? No. no. Skion doesn't work there, so okay, that's not going to do anything. And I probably don't want to go throwing myself off that. Yeah, I could climb all the way along, I suppose. Maybe that's what I need to be doing. So up there to where the switch was, and then all the way along this. Christ, that's a bit tenuous, but all right. It's it's the best I've got right now, so let's give it a try. And let's not do that, because I will die. Okay, let's let's give it a go. Let's do. Will this get us to where we want to be? <laughs> right, save it here just in case it elbows tits up, which it probably would. Goodness. <laughs> we made it, I think. putting this thing. Oh, we're just going up and up and up. And 
another centaur bites the dust. Right, give me that. Okay, we've got both Ankhs now, so we have to go up to the top of the Sphinx. Put the other one in, and presumably that opens the door inside it. That's my ass umption. Pretty sure this should slide me down where I need to go. Sidestep, then sidestep. Again? Really? You're gonna do that? Alright, fine. I think can really wail. Like, damn, it just doesn't shut up. Yeah. <laughs> Marcus Fossa planning on doing Tomb Raider 2 and 3 as well. Yeah, sure, when I'm like 60 years old, when I've completed this game, <laughs> I think. It's been an experience. Just me uh, realizing that I don't remember the game quite as well as I thought I did. There we go. Doors open. The way is clear. Let's go. down here. To the water! Whoa. Holy shit. That's big. Oh, I can't do that yet, can I? It's drained the water out, perhaps? I just need to find a switch that will let me do that. Damn, this area is enormous. Okay. I nope, can't do that either. Let me get up and get some air first. Okay, and down we go. This is one of those, like, it could be anywhere kind of situations. There it is. <laughs> okay. I had no control over that. I guess I have to go up. And also... <sighs> heal up. Alright, up. Just about veered right off the edge there. Because I'm a drunken asshole. Why do you always default to the pistols, goddammit? Oh, probably because they're out of ammo. 
Magnums, that's better. Not gonna lie, that was a pretty nerve wracking battle. Ooh, okay. So we're here, and I don't know if we've drained away some of the water. Quite possibly. Let's see if there's a way down. I don't know if it's just a case of like diving into the the water about down below. Guess we jump over. Yeah. Yeah, I guess we'd jump over and then slide. Oh, apart from doing that, uh, son of a bitch. <laughs> All right. Fine, okay. No problem. I can live with that. Uh, okay. Down. At least I know where I'm going now. I must admit, I'm actually kind of tempted to just dive straight into the water. Please tell me people aren't suggesting Daisy Ridley as Lara. Just... no. That would just be depressing as fuck. Come on, show yourself. Okay, he's stuck on the scenery. Screw it, let's just go down. <sighs> Marvelous! Oh, they probably set it so that you can't actually dive off. That would just be too easy. Whoa, damn! <laughs> I just like bounced off that, it like flung me across the, the room. Oh well. I've got a save right there. Yeah, could you guys imagine Rachel Zegler as Lara? I could definitely see them casting someone like her. Hmm, 
Something's in the wall. Is there a way down from here from, to there? Can we try it? Can we do that? Yeah, good enough. Mr. E says, Sydney Sweeney is Lara. Now you're talking, sir. I can get behind that. Just like I could get behind Sydney Sweeney. Yes, Uzi rounds. Qual says, Willem Dafoe is Lara. I mean, of course. <laughs> now, there's an image. Actually, while you're looking at that, let me do a couple of super chats. Um, where is the next one? Um, oh, yeah, there it is. As his wonky eyebrow. Melanie Mack is Lara Croft. <laughs> I'm sure she would love to do it. She's got the knowledge. Danny Kyle says, Bring back memories of playing Tomb Raider with my brothers, taking turns with the controller and helping with puzzles when it wasn't my turn. Great content. Therapeutic, even. Thank you. I wish it was quite as therapeutic for me. Damn, trying to get through this one's been a nightmare. G-Man says, Watched Dune Part 2 this evening. Thought it was fantastic. Nice one, sir. Glad you enjoyed it, and I hope you watched it in IMAX. Ultra says, Correction, it was Jesse Jane who passed. Ah, okay. Sorry, that was... Uh, yeah, you thought it was... Je Jenna Jameson? Yeah, a different one. Uh, Ultra also says, watch Chili edit clips of OT Star Wars on social media. All right. Uh, Ricardo Del Juego says, cheers for vids and streams, drinker. You familiar with the Tomb Runner Discord? Tomb Raider challenge runs and speed runs. Invite open if interested. Yeah, somehow I don't think I'm going to be speed running it. <laughs> but thanks for the invite. And Matthew Velazquez says, I nominate Milana Weintraub to play Lara Croft. No need for prosthetics. Well, now you're talking. <laughs> Kirsten Stewart. Good lord. That's uh, she just like absolutely stinks of like actress who's no longer particularly relevant, but is just trying to do anything to get back into the the public, the public eye, and it ain't working. Yeah, there's the switch I need. Cool. Yeah, it's down this one, isn't it? There it is. We're in a room. Why do I feel like a boulder is going to roll down here or something? We're just going up and up and up. Never turn down some free bullets when you can get them. Okay, this is getting kind of repetitive now. <laughs> Wow, you're really going to do this to me, aren't you, game? <laughs> is this like... Is this a piss take? Is this just ever going to end? in an empty room there. Not anymore. 
Well, there's another one. Where are you at, boy? some of that. Sometimes you can't help yourself, you just explode. Use the scarab, Lara. I'll have that stuff, thank you. Still got a pain in my brain. Oh, it's Larson. This could be the last we see of him, though. I liked his voice actor, I must admit. Where is he at? What I like to do at times like this is stand directly in the middle of the room. There he is. I think I got him. That's it. He did. Let's get that piece of the ski on. I'm gonna have you. Alrighty. Look at this epic cutscene. <laughs> this voice acting. Left Larson sucking wind then, eh? If that is the phrase. Well, your little vacation. I feel like they could have done a little bit more to build up these guys, give them some personality. Let's try the lunchbox. Oh, you shouldn't push Lara around. Look at that angry look. She did the thing! She did the swan dive, yay! Yeah, this is the one part of the game where they haven't remastered it. <laughs> the cutscenes are just in all their 1996 glory. You know, it's lucky that she's picking up their trail like an hour later and she knows exactly where they're heading. Hodor's saying they're slightly upscaled. I mean, it might be a little bit, but not much. Oh no, they're getting away aboard that mega yacht. It's lucky it happens to be sailing so close to the headland there. <laughs> this is just sheer 90s badassery right there. Look at that. Awesome. What the heck was that? What? That away. Probably just a Ah, Lara dripping wet, eh? <laughs> this bit always made me laugh, like she just passes out and nobody finds her. I mean, it's not a big boat. We ready yet? Here we are, the final section of the game. 
Decadent and Dave says, did her boobs get bigger? They kind of seemed like they did. I mean, they were pretty massive there. And they gave them jiggle physics, which I'm very pleased with. Yep, jiggle physics was on point in the 90s. It sure was. This is it. We are in the final section of the game, which is Atlantis. We start off in Natla's Mines and then we head into the pyramid itself. I don't think I'm going to have time to finish it all today, sadly, because it's like, what, 1am here? Yeah, I should probably take a break. Uh, Larry says, made you look. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> and Mega Bren C says, appreciate the shows these last few months, drinker. Buy yourself a pint on me. Thank you very much, my friends. And, uh, yeah, I'll probably finish up there for now. And, um, yeah, I think the, the next time I play this, that'll be when I just try and do those final three levels and complete the game. But thank you guys for joining me for this, and thanks for the super chats. Appreciate it, as always. And uh, have yourselves a good night and a good weekend. But for now, that's all I got for today. So go away now. <laughs>